the frog prince long time ago when wishes often came true there lived a king with his pretty daughter she was so beautiful and loving that the king always gave her everything whatever she wanted daddy i'm bored of playing with my old toy i want something else to play with oh my dear since you are precious i will give you the most precious toy that my grandfather gave me in my childhood the king opened his golden safe and took a shining golden ball take this ball my daughter it will shine as bright as the sun under the sky but this is very precious don't lose it ever thank you father You are the best father in the whole world. The prince started playing in the garden. As the ball rolled down, she ran behind it everywhere. Suddenly, there came an ugly frog. I saw you from the bushes and I'm astonished with your beauty. Oh dear, would you allow me to be your friend and play with you? Ah, how could you even think of such a thing? I can't play with an Ugly what a frog like you. I am the most beautiful girl in the world. Why shall I play with such a dirty thing? I can hop. I can jump. I can even swim and catch your ball. I'm the perfect one to play with you. Please. I would rather play alone than touching dirty frog. All disgusted, the princess went back to the castle. The next day, she came to play with the ball. She chose a lonely spot under an old tree near a well. She started playing with the ball. She threw it up and caught it again. While doing so, the ball shined in sunlight so bright that it dazzled her eyes. Instead of falling back into the maiden's little hand, it dropped to the ground near the edge of the well and rolled into the well. Oh no! My golden ball. Oh my god, it's so deep. I can't see where my ball is in this deep well. She wept and wept as if she could never be comforted. and in the midst of her weeping she heard a voice what ails you king's daughter your tears will melt her heart of a stone she looked to see where the voice came from oh is it you ugly frog i weep because my golden ball has fallen into the well never mind i can help but if you would accept to be my friend play with me and eat from your plate and drink from your cup and sleep in your little bed what all those requests he <laughs> he the princess got frustrated after hearing ugly frog's long list of wishes but to get her golden ball back she decided to behave patiently with the frog Oh yes, I will promise it all. Whatever you want, if only you get my ball again. Well, as soon as the frog had her promise, he sank down out of sight. After a while, he came to the surface again with the ball. The princess was overjoyed to see her pretty ball again. She picked it and ran away with it. Stop, stop. Take me with you. I cannot run as fast as you. Oh no. It was of no use. The next day, princess was sitting on the dining table with the king. There came a knocking at the door. Oh, princess, let me in. The princess got up and ran to see who it could be. But when she opened the door there was a little frog she shut the door hastily and went back to her seat feeling very uneasy the king noticed how quickly her heart was beating my child what are you afraid of is there a giant standing at the door ready to carry you away oh no 
know daddy there is a horrid frog and what does the frog want yesterday he helped me remove my golden ball from the well and i promise he would be my companion oh my pretty daughter once you promise you must keep it open the door and let him in no no so she went and opened the door and the frog hopped in following her heels the king's daughter was very angry but she had no choice other than to live with the frog in the palace and that is how frogs got their way into the palace till to date